Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, by the title of this video, I'm sure you can tell what I'm gonna be doing today. I wanted to tackle a deep clean of the carpets on my 2014 Nitro Z6. Um, I've had it for probably about three years, bought it used. I've never actually deep cleaned the carpet and really just wanted to see what um, this uh, shaving cream cleaning actually was all about. So I went and bought a few uh, bottles of shaving cream and got my carpet cleaner from inside and uh, my drill brush and I'm going to see if I can't get these carpets nice and clean and bring back the fluff that they originally had. So stay tuned. All right guys, like I said, this is my 2014 Nitro Z6. I'm gonna try to super clean the carpets with uh, the shaving cream. I have all my gear set up here. Excuse the car noise there. Yeah, so I have two bottles of shaving cream. So I have the soothing aloe. I don't know, I just grabbed this. And then I have the original. Um, everything I've seen online, it's, it's gonna take for at least my size of a boat, uh, a couple cans at least. I've got a stiff, firm bristle brush here. I think this is supposed to be used for car tires or whatever. Um, and then I also have my my drill brush and my drill, a couple microfiber cloths. I have my, uh, my Hoover Steam Vac from inside. I fill that up with super hot water to suck all of the, uh, the shaving cream out of the carpets. And then I also have a couple different options for the, the suction uh, from the carpet cleaner itself. I don't know that I'm gonna use the agitated bristle brush, probably just more for suction. It's probably one of these two. And then maybe this one here for you know tight cracks to get the, the water out. But with that, let's get everything set up and see how clean we can get these carpets. All right, so we're back here on the back deck. This is the one place I wanted to start the most. It seems to be the dirtiest. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, maybe because of road dirt and things like that that just get trapped back here when, when driving the boat um, on the road. I can see some pretty dark stains here and there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it off. I've seen a lot of people do this. Um, I haven't seen very significant results by doing this. I've seen people put stains in their boat carpet just to prove a point, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to tape off this side versus this side. Um, I think I might just clean this area first and then show you the before and after. So let's go ahead and get the shaving cream put down and we'll go ahead and start using the, uh, the scrub brush and um, in some of the tighter areas, we'll go ahead and use the, the firm bristle brush. So we're back here on the back deck, just finished up uh, carpet cleaning the right hand side here and the left hand side I haven't done yet. Um, from what I can tell, I mean the carpet's it's, it's fluffed up for I guess, you know, being about eight years old or so. Um, and you can definitely see that there's a 
a dark blue tint to the right hand side versus the left hand side. Um, I use my drill brush to agitate the carpet along with that stiff bristle brush which you know fluff the fibers up pretty well. How long it's gonna last I really don't know. I've cleaned the carpet uh, a few times like spot cleaned it in the past. Um, it just tends to get matted down um, over time. I mean I'm, I'm sure that it's all it's all bass boat carpet so um, just wanted to give you guys a look at exactly what it's what the, what the carpet's hopefully going to look like versus what it looked like previously. Um, I'll go ahead and pull the tape off here so you can get a better look. Um, but yeah, you can you can definitely see the line where the carpet's a lot a lot darker in color versus a lot lighter in color. So um, I guess with that, we'll go ahead and get uh, thrown up on a time lapse here, and we'll get the rest of this carpet cleaned up. So I realize I'm starting to run out of 
shaving cream. Uh, apparently my bow tie is too big for two cans of this stuff. So it's easier for me to take a microfiber cloth and just spread it out across the carpet. I'm still getting pretty good coverage. There's some spots that are a little light, but not too bad. I should have enough to finish the entire boat, but just a, a quick tip if it, you start to run out and you wanna be able to finish all of the, the carpet in your boat, but you only have so much shaving cream left, just spread it out with a microfiber cloth or whatever cloth you have and it goes a little bit farther, so. All right guys, just wrapped up finishing the boat, but I just wanted to recap um, kind of just my thoughts on everything. Um, so everything you see here is what um, it took for me to get the carpets clean along with my carpet cleaner. I would like to say that uh, using a large uh, home carpet cleaner, although uh, very you know nice to have a long handle uh, attachment like that, is, is not, the best for lugging in and out of uh, a boat. So um, if you have the option to get like one of those small little Bissell spot cleaners, uh, I would definitely recommend that. But I used uh, two cans of shaving cream and one was the soothing aloe and one was the original. I did not see a difference in them. Um, I used the original in the back and I used the, uh, the soothing aloe in the front. A few other things I did want to point out was that um, if you're going to use a drill brush, um, I did agitate initially with my big brush, but then I actually went and used the drill brush to kind of uh, agitate the carpet the rest of the way. It really did help out, especially that scrubbing back and forth is just really hard on your arms. It's so much easier just to use a drill brush. So if you have the option to do that, I'll go ahead and link the um, the drill brush set that I have in the description below. So if you want to give it a shot, um, you can do that as well. Another thing that I would wanted to add was that you you saw me add uh, a good bit of water. So this spray can, spray bottle here had just regular water in it. And I was noticing that when the shaving cream wasn't directly on the carpet, it was extremely hard to, uh, to scrub. So what I did was I, sprayed some additional water onto the carpet and it just diluted it and made it spread a lot easier so it was much much easier for the shaving cream to to cover the entire carpet um and you also notice started using a microfiber cloth to spread out the shaving cream um it was just easier to get a full even spread with the the actual uh, rag or the microfiber cloth than it was to use the brush. The brush was great for agitating, but trying to spread it across a large area was kind of difficult. So I just used the rag and, and wiped it where I could. Plus it, it helped 
the longevity of the uh, shaving cream because I was starting to run out and I realized that in the front and started to like spread it out more, which let me use a lot less shaving cream. So those are a few things that I just wanted to point out. Just kind of looking over the carpet, I am, I mean, not, not like super impressed with the results. You can see that the, you know, it turned out pretty good, but for the effort and the time that it took to get it all complete, it's just not worth my time. Um, I have a pressure washer. I think the next time I really need to clean the carpet, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pressure wash the carpet outside the garage. And then I will end up just using the vacuum or the um, shot vac or the carpet cleaner to suck the water up the rest of the way. It just seems a lot easier. I mean, this is my opinion. So, um, I mean, I guess with that, I would just say that it's a great thing to do if you have the time and energy to do it. But I mean, for me, it's, it's really not worth it. I probably won't do it again. If I, if I need to clean the carpets, I'll just pull out the pressure washer. I'll go ahead and spray them down, hose it off, use an all-purpose cleaner, and then just suck the water out with my shot vac or my, my uh, carpet cleaner. It'd just be a lot easier, so. Um, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, consider subscribing. I got some more videos coming and I'll see you on the next one.